started thinking about modular classrooms as parents of a daughter who was going into a modular classroom at her own school. And as architecture professors, we decided we'd bring the whole project to the university and see if our architecture and engineering students were up to the task of uh, making a better modular classroom. It's a classroom that actually acts like the human body, it responds to the environment. Uh, we've overhauled the uh, heating, uh, ventilation, and air conditioning systems so that we actually focus on ventilation air. It's one of the biggest issues with modular classrooms is, is air quality. And so we've really focused on the, uh, ventilation using um, the heat of the students to provide some of the heat. And that was helped with uh, this kind of miracle material that we have in the walls too, which is called BioPCM. Bio it's a phase change material that actually helps us to absorb some of the heat in the classroom. So it helps keep the classroom cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter. Um, and we have all natural, uh, VOC, uh, no VOC materials inside the classroom. So paints with no toxins. Um, natural corkboard for pinup space and, and um, no VOC flooring materials for the classrooms as well. It's got open ceilings instead of drop ceilings, so all the systems are exposed and we have nice high ceilings which bring in a lot of light. The classroom has four times as many windows as most typical classrooms. It is uh, by far the most affordable super green classroom out there. It's a third of the cost of the nearest competitor and, and that's what's attracting attention all over the country. We're focusing a lot on public interest design, you know, design that actually um, doesn't just serve client desire but community needs. The students were actively involved, they weren't just in the background, they actually, along with coming up with design ideas and implementing them, they got to meet with code officials and uh, government officials and school administrators and students. It was really, not only was it a branching out of skills for, for us as architects, but also for the students where they really got a wide range of experience and what it takes to, not just to design something, but to design it and, and get the buy-in from all the stakeholders and then get it through to a marketplace and actually have it built. And that's pretty exciting. That doesn't happen very often in architecture school.